I'm just so excited because this is going to be a good video. I am so excited to show you these brushes. It's the MSQ 29 piece brush set from AliExpress. Just look at those handles. Like all day, I've been waiting to film this. After seeing how many people enjoyed my Avani brush set review, a lot of you were quite happy with the brushes and I thought, why not just go on the net and look for a new brush set that you guys can like fall in love with. Before I get into applying anything on my face, I do want to go through like and categorize what these brushes are like useful. So I'll go through all the eye brushes first. Just give me a second to sort them out because I forgot to do them before I hit record. Give me like two seconds. Three, four, five, six. No, nope, you ain't no eye brush. So we've got five blending brushes. How do I show you the thickness? How do I do this? How do I show you the thickness? Why not? You're not going to be able to tell me. One is really nice and fluffy. The other is quite comparable but is not as fluffy. The other one is the same but it's just flatter so it's similar to the Luxefine crease brush from Zoeva so it's flat but it's really nice to just get into the crease and this one is on an angle. Like a really good brush just to you know, yeah. Five different shader brushes so we've got one big one and a couple of small ones just to pack on like glitter or any kind of like lip colour, whatever it may be. We've got a flat definer brush, a little tiny lip brush and a small eyeliner brush as well. Got three different pencil brushes. This one's more like a blending shade type of brush so you could like pack on and blend at the same time and these two are really nice pencil brushes so these are quite similar but one of them's just thicker than the other. And guys, these handles are so cute. I just want to show you quickly before I move on to the face brushes. They are so nice. Like, look how pretty and glossy and I don't know. I don't even know how to explain this. We've got three different stippling brushes. One is nice and fat, good for foundation. This one you could use for highlights, so it's not too big. It's quite flat, so you can, you know, get right in there. And this one's really nice for like cream contour or even cream blush. They are so soft. Oh my god, they're so soft. I love these brushes already. Perfect for powder, bronzer and another bronzer brush. So these are really good just to pack on colour on the whole face. Yeah. This is a flat headed foundation brush and this one's like a thinner one, perfect to apply concealer underneath the eyes and this is just really good to apply the foundation all over and go in with the beauty blender or however you apply your foundation but these two are really good to have in any brush set. Okay, contour and blush brushes. I've got an angled one here. This one's really nice just to apply some colour on the cheeks and another blush brush. You can use it for contour as well if you need to. This one is probably going to be my favourite like in the whole set. It's so nice and small and like soft and fluffy. I think that would work really well to contour the cheeks. This one's like a really small mini expert face brush. You could use this to contour the side of the nose or cream contour the cheeks, whatever you need. Also, I keep looking at this side of the camera because the viewfinder's here and I want to be able to see exactly what I'm doing. So if you see me looking in this direction, it's my viewfinder. I'm not avoiding you guys, just saying. I'm going to get straight into doing my makeup using these brushes and I'll tell you along the way exactly how they feel. Alright, how does that look, guys? I'm like a little kid when I put this headband on. Takes me back to the good old days, you know? I forgot to prime, but that is okay. I'm just using the flat foundation brush to blend that all out. This brush is so soft, it blended out my foundation so well. So going in with the fat stippling brush, I didn't actually need any more foundation or coverage, I just wanted to see how this brush blends out the foundation. I'm loving it. I'm going to do some cream contouring as well, so I can show you how to use this mini stippling brush. 
I just dip it in because I'm the only person that uses this bronzer. I know it's not very hygienic, but eh, whatever. The top of these brushes are white, obviously, so it's gonna look like it's picking up a lot of color, but it's not actually grabbing onto anything. It's going straight to my face. To set underneath my eyes, I am gonna use one of the blush brushes. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to use that big fluffy brush. These brushes are so soft. Oh my god, they are just incredible. I love them. I'm going to use my NARS Laguna and that small contouring brush. I love that. Oh my god, I'm so excited! I'm going to go in with some blush. This is the NYX Baked Blush in Wonderlust. That blush isn't too pigmented, so I'm going to use my Urban Decay Afterglow in Fetish with the Angled Brush. I'm going to use that highlighting brush that I showed you, but it's not a cream product, it is just my Carly Bybel what do you call this palette? This is a 14 colour eyeshadow and highlighter palette from the Carly Bible range. Put a little bit more on there. Ooh! Oh my god, you guys. I love this highlighter, but this brush. Oh my god. I've got a lot of highlighter on right now, but I'm loving it. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. This brush is so good. I don't even want to stop. Girl! Woo! I am so happy right now. Oh my god. For the eyeshadow, I am using the Sports Girl Eyeshade Bronze Palette. So this is just the blending brush. Blending out the eyeshadow really, really well. Going in with caramel and the brush that looks like the Zoeva one. The Luxe Define Crease Brush. Just putting that underneath. I'm going to use Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek. I'm going to use the same highlighter that I put on my cheeks into the inner corner with that really small lip brush. I use as many brushes as I could without packing on too much makeup on my face. These are all the brushes that I used and these are all the brushes that are still clean. I forgot to mention how much they were so I'm just going to go on the website now and see how much it is. 29 piece MSQ brush set. These brushes are $47 in the US. I can't remember how much I paid in Australian dollar, but as always, all the information will be in the description box below. If you do find any brushes that you want me to try out because you're too scared to or you don't know exactly how it is, let me know in the comments below. Anything that you can't find a review on or just want to get my opinion on, let me know, leave a link below. I feel like some brushes are just too expensive and I always go on YouTube to see if anyone else has done a review on them. This brush set, no one's actually tried them out, so I was a bit worried, thinking like what if they're really crap because no one's bought them, no one's did a review on them, so I took a big risk buying these brushes in case they turned out to be really shit, but I was wrong, these brushes are amazing, definitely recommend that you guys buy these brushes, they are so good. Evan, oh my god, all I can hear is you running in the hallway, can you... I'm gonna strangle this kid, I swear, not really. I should cut that out. <laughs> Look, my lighting screwed up because of him now. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye!